must teach it to you and as promised this is a tutorial about making that fruit compost and you will have to bear with me a little bit because it's the first time I am filming myself cooking. It is a very easy uh, thing to do. If you do not have um, facilities to an oven in your school or a hob um, to heat up things, the best thing to do is to get a little bowl with boiling water and then you put your saucepan and it will just just do as well as a hop. So I have the ingredients uh, showing you the ingredients there. Okay, um, the list of ingredients and some of the steps are going to be on the link underneath um, at the Namas Teacher blog. And I hope you enjoy, whether you are a teacher, a TA, or a parent, you can do this in, in the classroom, you can uh, do that at home, okay? Um, and I really do hope it helps you with ideas for teaching and for home uh, activities for children, okay? Thank you. Okay, so starting with um, cooking it, I would first put the coconut water and turn on hop lemon juice a teensy weensy bit of salt to help thicken and And I use a uh, coconut oil to help with a little bit of that. Then grated coconut. Sorry, the camera is trying to adjust. And roots. Drizzle of nutmeg Cinnamon Vanilla extract Tinsy Winsy And you can stop mixing it up And you probably see fruit will release a juice and you stir it till you get the fruit to dissolve a bit and it shouldn't take more than three to four minutes and the last thing but not least your maple syrup you the smell is lovely okay so another five minutes which I won't be filming myself just doing this and it should be ready once you're ready, I'll show it to you and I'll also put some pictures on the blog for you to um, see what I use with and what it can be used with at home or if you're doing school. It could be something, a nice activity for an afternoon or uh, you can leave it overnight on the fridge and have as a um, break time snack next morning. Okay? Right. So. Here it is. Um, mm. 
really good. Now, where's the hat? It's gone because I'm not cooking anymore. Make sure hygienic uh, purposes and teaching the children how to be healthy and safe in a kitchen. Um, I hope it helped. Um, at home, if you're doing with your kids, um, make sure they lead it. Okay, not just pass you the ingredients. Make sure it's safe for them uh, in school as well. Um, check if it will really help and I don't want to create chaos in your classroom but uh, all of these things help a lot um, as you could see it was like following instructions you can use it in maths you can use it in so many ways and I think the kids um, usually when I do this sort of things kids get really excited and they they try at home and um, they put in their diaries and, and parents get really uh, into it and it's also teaching them about healthy foods and things like that. You can do in uh, PSHE lessons, um, science, as you go further in Key Stage uh, 2, uh, discuss what kind of fruits, five a day, um, how you could use it in a cake or fruit salad, which is healthier, all those kind of things. So don't forget to like, subscribe and Namaste teacher to all of you.